Hi everyone, I'm Karina. And I'm Ali. And we are outreach coordinators for the College of Medicine. We both graduated recently from UCF with degrees in biomedical sciences and we wanted to share some of our experiences with you all. Over my past few years at UCF, as a student and now working, I've been provided with countless opportunities. By the time we both graduated, we had experience with mentoring, research, shadowing, volunteering, teaching, all things that not only benefited us as students, but also made us competitive medical school applicants. One of my favorite things about UCF is how it has a very large and diverse student body, but despite that, I never felt lost while at the Burnett School of Biomedical Sciences, because it always gave me that sense of a small and warm community that I look for in a school. And on top of that, it gave me the space to discover and explore my own passions. For me, that was immunology. So I got to take multiple different classes in immunology, join an immunology research lab at UCF, and just recently get published into the Journal of Immunology. UCF helped me find my passion for anatomy. After taking human anatomy as an elective, I was able to help out in the laboratory as a teaching assistant for the past few years. And I was also able to build upon those skills by taking a dissection course. But these experiences aren't just in the classroom. Through Burnett School of Biomedical Sciences, Ali and I were able to be part of a clinical internship where we were able to shadow local physicians and get exposed to the medical field. I was also able to do a research internship through BSBS where I volunteered in a local hospital's radiology department and got exposed to research that way. And to add on to what Karina said about support outside of the classroom, we also have advisors and peer mentors who are always available and they're there to support us with every step on the way. So our peer mentors are fellow students who have excelled in the major and they're looking to give guidance and recommendations for students who are following in their footsteps. And after a few years in our majors at UCF, Karina and I became peer mentors and we were also able to give back to fellow students. If I had any advice, take advantage of all of the opportunities that UCF and BSBS has to offer, whether it be the hundreds of clubs, the academic and social events, internships, or jobs. Being at UCF definitely made me feel like I was at the forefront of lots of different academic and scientific advancements. And if you want to feel the same way, and you're looking to become the best, most well-rounded student that you can, then UCF is a place for you. And we hope to see you here soon. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Ali Sachmi and I'm an Outreach Coordinator with UCF's College of Medicine. In this presentation, we'll be talking about the programs offered by the Burnett School of Biomedical Sciences. On this slide, you can see an overview of our administration as well as our advising team. At the bottom is our advising office's address and phone number. Just note that while UCF is operating remotely, you can reach us at the email address at the bottom of this page, which is bsbsadvising at ucf.edu. One thing we're really proud of at BSBS is our research. The topics that are focused on by researchers range from cancer to cardiovascular, neurodegenerative, and infectious diseases. Our labs are located mainly at UCF's health campus in Lake Nona, the main campus, which is in East Orlando, and the research park, which is just a few minutes from the main campus. Transportation is never an issue for our students because we have shuttles running between these three campuses, which makes research very accessible for all students. There are many faculty conducting research, so there's an opportunity for every student to get involved in it. And research is an important experience for students to have, even if they're not looking to do research as a career. This is the foundation for all the science that's applied by health professionals today, and it's required at many health professional schools, actually. So if we look at data from current medical schools, we'll see that 80% of students have had some sort of undergraduate research experience. And with increasingly competitive admission requirements, more and more students are looking to get involved in research as undergrads. Next, we'll be talking about the majors offered at the Burnett School of Biomedical Sciences. We'll also be providing you with access to each major's catalog at the end of this presentation and that's going to cover coursework and more information on each major. On the slide, you can see the three majors that we offer. The first and most popular one is Biomedical Sciences. For this major, students can either select the track in Molecular and Cellular Biology, Molecular Microbiology, or Neuroscience, or they don't select the track. Next, we have Biotechnology, and finally, Medical Laboratory Sciences, which is a limited access major. 
We'll start with talking about biomedical sciences. This is mainly for students looking to go to health professional schools like medical school, dental school, PA school, or any of the other ones that you can see listed on this page. Pre-health professional students usually go with a no-track option, while students who are looking to do research in molecular and cellular biology, molecular microbiology, or neuroscience select one of those three tracks. And the reason that this major is so popular with our pre-medical and other pre-health students is because the curriculum covers all of the prerequisite coursework required by health professional schools. So for example, if you're looking to go to medical school and you had selected a different major, you'd be taking all the classes in that major, as well as chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, microbiology, and another long list of classes. But we've already built all these courses into our curriculum. This slide shows you the steps to becoming a physician, but it applies to many similar health professions. After high school is college, and then medical school. Now one option that's been growing in popularity for medical students is taking gap years. In 2016, over 60% of students starting medical school had taken at least one gap year. And gap years aren't just for vacationing and resting. They actually give students time to prepare for the MCAT and any other extracurriculars that they need to refine their applications. In a traditional medical school, students take their core sciences for the first two years and they do clinical rotations for their last two years. And it's during these rotations that students decide on the specialties that they like to pursue after graduating. And they get training in these specialties during their residencies. Now we have this slide here to show you that any health profession requires a great deal of commitment from you. And we'll be making sure that you're as well prepared as you can be. We have internships, partnerships, student organizations, and all of these are going to help you to satisfy your volunteering, shadowing, research, and other requirements. The next major we'll be discussing is biotechnology. If you're looking to go to graduate school and get a master's degree or a PhD and conduct research, then this is the degree for you. Our biotechnology program teaches students to use molecular techniques towards disease prevention and treatment. We also have research partnerships with local institutes and internships available for our students. Research is built into the biotechnology curriculum and all students who have graduated with a biotechnology degree has performed research while at UCF. On this slide, you can see an increasingly relevant list of some of the fields you can expect to go into with a biotechnology degree. Keep in mind that there are lots of other ones that aren't listed on this page. There are medical applications to biotechnology, in stem cells, pharmaceuticals, genetic engineering, and bioinformatics. There are industrial applications to it in chemical production and alternative fuel research. There are agricultural applications to biotechnology in pest and disease resistant grains and animals. And there's also biotechnology applications to marine and aquatics in water quality testing and pollution prevention major we'll be talking about is medical laboratory sciences. MLS is a limited access program, meaning students apply and interview for a spot. Applications usually are turned in at the end of sophomore year, and the program starts every fall. A small cohort of 30 students moves on together for the next two years. And we're very proud of this program, as you can see in our numbers. Our last class had a 100% graduation and job placement rate, and a 98% certification exam pass rate. MLS is a terminal degree, meaning that after graduating, students get straight to work. So MLS is a rapidly growing field, and it had a 16% projected growth between 2014 and 2024. Our students have found careers in many different lab settings, from clinical and hospital to research, government, pharmaceutical, and even forensic laboratories. This program has classroom instruction and extensive laboratory instruction as it's very hands-on. All MLS students are trained in phlebotomy and during their last year they go on clinical rotations throughout the state of Florida and work in different laboratories. This is how they meet their future employers and they get hired before graduating. So after graduation, they're ready to go straight to the workforce. These are the application requirements for the MLS program. You need two letters of recommendation from college science professors, 
either an AA from Florida Community College or the completion of general education courses, a minimum GPA of 2.5, and the completion of common program prerequisites with a C grade. The application deadline for MLS is typically on March 1st. And as I mentioned earlier, the professional phase of this program lasts for two years or 64 credit hours. Some of the classes that students have to complete before applying to the MLS program include Biology, Chemistry 1 and 2, Organic Chemistry 1 and 2, Organic Chemistry Lab, General Microbiology, Anatomy, and Physiology and Statistics. For MLS, we do accept Anatomy, Physiology, and Microbiology as transfer courses from community colleges. Keep in mind that all of these prerequisite courses need to be completed with a C or better. Now that Ali's gone over our majors, here's something to keep in mind. When you enter UCF, you may be biomedical sciences or biotechnology pending. The pending status will be removed once you complete the listed courses with a C grade or better. Those courses being biology one, chemistry one, chemistry two, organic chemistry one. So you'll officially be entered into the major after you receive a C or better in those courses. Keep in mind, we do accept these courses for most public in-state institutions and certain programs like AP, IB, ACE, even dual enrollment, depending on your scores. This policy is in place to make sure you're succeeding in those lower division courses before we throw you into the upper division ones like biochemistry, molecular biology one, two, and so forth. The pending policy goes hand in hand with our progress policy. So our progress policy states that if you receive three withdrawals, which means you drop the class after the drop deadline, five low grades, which is a C minus or below, also an unsatisfactory, no credit or withdrawal, or two unsuccessful attempts at any class, meaning you've taken organic chemistry one twice and you failed it, and now you're taking it for a third time. If that applies to you, you'd be placed on academic warning or academic probation. You'd have to meet with a peer mentor and figure out what's going on so we can get you back on the right track. Now, unfortunately, if things don't improve for you and now you're at five withdrawals, eight low grades, or three unsuccessful attempts at any class, you'd be removed from the College of Medicine. You'd have to pick a different major. Now, UCF has so many opportunities for you to succeed, whether it be tutoring, advising. As long as you reach out for help before it gets to this point, we can get you right back on track. So most of our students, they plan on going to some sort of professional school after graduation, whether it be medical school, dental school, master's, PhD program. And a lot of these programs have GPA requirements, cutoffs or averages, and they could be pretty competitive, right? 3.5 or above in some cases. We wanna make sure you're on that path, uh, which is why we have this policy in place. Some of you may have received college credit during high school, whether it be through AP, IB, ACE, or even dual enrollment. The credit you'll receive at UCF depends on your scores on these exams or the grades in the classes. So there's an ECE, an expected credit evaluation form, in the link listed, which gives a breakdown of these programs. Here are three popular programs our BSBS students are a part of. Excel aims to increase student success in STEM fields by creating cohorts of like-minded students, and they take their first two years of math and science courses together. They create a learning and even a living community with access to tutoring, faculty mentors, and more. So if you're interested in our biomedical sciences or biotechnology majors, and you'd like to be a part of the Excel program, definitely check out their website for more information about the program and about the application process as well. Many of our students are also involved in the Burnett Honors College. It provides a small college experience through limited class sizes and it's more one-on-one -on -one interaction with the professors. And many of the courses in our majors can be taken through the honors program, as well as some outside, you know, interesting interdisciplinary seminars as well. So as an honor student, you receive priority registration and other perks like free printing, advising, and other events. So visit their website to learn more about their application process and the rest of the honors college programs. Now, if you're interested in graduate school, uh, academic advancement programs is something definitely to look into. It's a great resource uh, for underrepresented, low income and first generation college students, and they prepare you through research opportunities and mentoring, so definitely check them out. Here's a list of some of the popular clubs and organizations on campus. These ones are more geared towards pre-health students, but there are hundreds of clubs you could join. It definitely doesn't have to be related to science or healthcare. Night Connect is the official resource for finding organizations at UCF, so look around on Night Connect and I'm sure you'll find clubs you're interested in. These are great ways of meeting other people and getting involved in social events and volunteering. Uh, the ones listed are more medical related uh, and they might help you find shadowing, research positions, mentoring, so it's definitely something to look into. 
The Office of Pre-Health and Pre-Law Advising is going to be very important to those of you who are looking to go into a health professional school after your time in undergrad. So think medical school, dental school, optometry, PA school, all of these options you can explore with the Office of Pre-Health and Pre-Law Advising. They can help with your application, getting ready for whatever exam you may have to take to apply to these schools, like the MCAT, the OAT, the DAT. They offer mock interviews and a lot of helpful resources. They are there every step of the way. The information is posted on this slide. We post about important updates, opportunities, and events on our social media pages, so make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. If you have any questions, concerns, or would like more information, feel free to email us at bsbsadvising at ucf.uu. You can also visit the link posted on this slide for additional information about our majors, and if you have your mobile camera ready, you can scan the QR code and it will take you to that link. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you all at UCF soon.